Now this is the most important aspect of this entire taping and if you've made it to this point God bless you and I'm, I'm thankful that God has preserved you and kept you to this point where you've heard the information you, you, you've seen it for yourself on different video clips and different scriptures that we addressed but this is the clincher this is the conclusion and the culmination of all of that information and of all of that talk all of those scriptures none of that matters unless it comes down to this and this is the confession part of this of this taping of this of this subject I'm gonna read from first John the first chapter first John chapter 1 and it starts in verse 6. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. But if we walk in the light as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another, uh, one with another. And the blood of Jesus Christ, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. So I want to stop there for a second and say that God wants you to walk in the light as he is in the light. And so this focus right now is getting rid of every aspect of darkness that may have come in by way of pledging into that fraternity or that sorority. Whether, whether it's a Greek lettered organization or whether it's the Freemason organization. God wants more of you. He made you for more than that. And so we want to talk about that. But we don't want to talk about it anymore. We want to pray about it. This is a this is a prayer. And so I'm going to lead you through a confession where you're going to confess the things that you've done concerning the, the Greek fraternal order or the Freemasonic order. We're going to confess those things and pray against the open doors that are presently in your life if you've made the decision to pledge into a fraternity or a sorority. So we're going to pray. But, I, but before we do, I want to read... The, a couple more verses in this. Now, if you think that you're okay like you are, if you don't think that it's necessary for you to renounce the things that you've done while you were in a fraternity or a sorority, if you think that it was acceptable because of the, the beneficial aspects of these Greek lettered organizations, then obviously this type of freedom, this type of word is not for you, obviously you've considered that you're okay like you are but the gospel does not come to people who think that they were well Jesus is a physician and he came to heal those who are oppressed of the devil if you don't think that you're oppressed of the devil then stay in that idolatry but for those of you who want to be free from those idols and want to be sure that your place in heaven is secure then I'm gonna lead you in a prayer but not before I give you this as hope and confidence in verse 9. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. And for those of you who think that you're okay like you are, if we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar and his word is not in us. But for those of you who realize that you have made a decision that was contrary to the word of God, let's pray together right now. And, I, and I'm going to lead you through, um, um, we're going to be confessing together, but I'll also stop in the middle of certain confessions so that I can instruct you on what to do. If you have oil in your house, I suggest that you perhaps pause the DVD and go and get some because you're going to use it to sanctify different parts of your body that you used to indulge in this level of idolatry concerning your fraternal or sororital order, okay? Now, repeat after me. Lord Jesus, I confess, I acknowledge pledging into the fraternity or sorority as sinful. Lord Jesus, please forgive me for swearing any oath, chanting, singing, singing any songs, in honor to the order and bowing at any altar of the Greek organization. Father, forgive me for every oath made to the organization 
and to any false god. Lord Jesus, please forgive me for having crossed the burning sands. And if you have done that, if you've crossed the burning sands, then use the oil that I asked you to go and get and take some and anoint the soles of your feet. You don't have to use a lot of it, but put some oil on the soles of your feet. And, and, and let's pray that again. Put some, put some of that oil on the soles of your feet. And let's pray that again. Lord Jesus, cleanse my feet for having crossed the burning sands. And forgive me in Jesus' name. Now, take some of that oil and put it on the palms of your hands because for those of you that were in those fraternities and sororities, obviously there are different hand symbols that they do that are occultic and that are of that same group, of that same organization, which we've already proven to be idolatrous. So take that oil and anoint your hands and repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, please forgive me for having done any hand symbols associated with the fraternity or sorority and sanctify my hands that they might be meat for your use. Father God, please forgive me for taking part or performing any ritual intake process initiation, unity rituals, hazing, stepping, crossing over, enduring mental, physical, or emotional pain for the organization. Lord Jesus, forgive me for all connection with the Boule Council for all connection with the National Pan-Hellenic Council. Now use some of that oil and anoint every brand. If you have, if you receive the brand, if you receive the tattoo for your organization, take, take the time right now and anoint those particular areas of your body because those curses need to be broken. Your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Now while you're anointing that, while you're anointing those tattoos or those brands and asking God to break the curse, repeat after me. Say, Father God, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Please forgive me for defiling the temple of the Holy Spirit and break every curse, Lord God, that came upon my life or that entered my body as a result of the mark. My body belongs to you. Now every curse that came upon my life, upon my family, as a result of my pledge, be broken. Idolatry, perversion, Witchcraft, rebellion, wrath, spirit of Pharaoh, sphinx, evil secrecy, deception, antichrist, body mutilation, hatred, and death be broken from off of my life in Jesus' name. Every soul tie connected with frat brothers or sisters be broken now. Every yoke of bondage to them be broken now in the name of Jesus.